Students with special educational needs throughout Turkey have received educational materials manufactured by prisoners as part of a project realized by the Education Ministry. Educational materials are an absolute must for children with special needs. But the production of these indispensable materials is scarce in our country. The imported ones are dangerous to health, insufficient and costly. Ahmet Emre Bilgili, the general director of the Education Ministry's Special Education Service, told Daily Hurriyet. The project, Special Materials for Special Children, was launched in accordance with these needs, the director stressed. Firstly, the most needed materials were determined and the prototypes of the products were made. Subsequently, a deal was made with three production places which were suitable in terms of ateliers, human capital and low costs, Bilgili said. An open penitentiary in the Black Sea province of Bolu was one of the three places where these materials were produced, Bilgili said. Convicts in the prison manufactured some 100 different educational materials that were distributed to all over Turkey. As you see, both the materials and the target audience along with the manufacturers are special. The materials are unique in every aspect. The designs of the materials belong to our general directorate, Bilgili said. The materials are strong, durable, ergonomic and suitable for use in classes, he stressed. The aim is to improve the basic life skills of students with special needs and to provide them with academic and professional skills in an attempt to prepare them for business life or a higher education institution, Bilgili said. Turkey is holding the largest navy drill in its history with over 100 vessels on all three seas surrounding the country. The four-day drill, dubbed Blue Homeland 2019, began on February 27 with the participation of 103 navy ships in the Black Sea, the Aegean and the Eastern Mediterranean. The flotilla included 13 frigates, 6 corvettes, 16 assault boats, and 7 submarines, 7 mine hunting vessels, 14 patrol boats, as well as other navy vessels. The drill was planned six months in advance in line with NATO rules and regulations. The drill is coordinated by the Naval War Center Command and will last through March 2. Turkey's indigenous Bayraktar and Anka unmanned aerial vehicles, UAV, and jet fighters will also participate in the drill. It's the first time that an exercise includes all three seas and involve air and land forces as well. After the completion of this exercise, the biannual Seawolf exercise will also take place in the coming months and will reiterate Turkey's determination in protecting its rights in these waters. The Turkish Navy has taken significant steps in recent years to increase combat capability, to upgrade its fleet, and become stronger against national security threats. Along with the commanders of the Turkish military, National Defense Minister Halusi Akar is also expected to follow the drill. Finance and Treasury Minister Barat Albayrak has vowed reforms to widen tax base and to create a more effective tax system. We want to enforce confidence that the new economic program the government announced in September and created for the market through structural transformation and structural reforms. One of the pillars of those reforms is taxes, Albayrak said on February 27, addressing the General Assembly meeting of the Tax Council held in Istanbul. The government is focusing on a tax reform which the Turkish economy and private sector needs to compete in the international arena, he said, adding that tax system will be simplified to reduce red tape. We have taken the work for a new tax system to the next phase. We want to implement a fairer system that widens the tax base as soon as possible, the minister stressed. Al-Bayrak added that the government would continue to maintain the delicate balance in tax policies. Those tax policies should help generate revenue to finance public services but at the same time should not discourage investments, he said. al Bayrak reiterated that the economic outlook has been improving and will advance further starting from April.